Hello, my name is Mary D, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Mary D Plays. In this uh, video, I'll be doing finger play, level one rock path um, on bass guitar. You can see I've already completed course one in previous videos, course two. Course three, I'm holding off to do a separate video of just the level one riff courses. Then there's a uh, done course four and five and six. And again, that's a riff course, which I'm planning on, as I said before, doing a separate video of just nothing but riff courses. Course eight, nine, 10, 11. Okay, so the last video we did was course number 10. Read a time signature. We're going to skip course 11 for the time being um, and then head to course number 12. Uh, looks like course number 12 has six activities. Get to know the third strain A. Learn and play notes on the A string. Sounds simple enough. Okay, learn some printed notes on the A strain. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to identify the A, B, and C notes on the A strain. And there's a tab. In this lesson, we're going to review the musical alphabet and take a look at some of the notes on the A string. All notes in music are labeled using the first seven letters of the alphabet. And we refer to this concept as the musical alphabet. And we use the letters A through G. This note sequence repeats over and over. And these are also known as the natural notes. And sounds get higher as you move up the alphabet from A to G and lower as you move down from G to A. Now let's learn the notes A, B, C on the A string. When you hold down a note on the fretboard, the pitch changes. As we move up the fretboard, the notes sound higher in pitch. And as we move down lower towards the headstock, the notes sound lower in pitch. In the fret hand, we're going to be playing the three notes, A, B, and C. So for A, we have to play an open A string. For B, we're gonna be playing that at the second fret with our first finger. And for C, the third fret with our second finger. Let's take a look at that from a different angle. So we have open A, B at the second fret, and C at the third fret. Make sure to keep the thumb placed directly behind the second finger on the neck. Keep that thumb straight. And also, when you're fretting a note, you wanna make sure that you're fretting the note right behind the fret wire to get the best tone. You don't wanna to be too far behind, or else the note will start to buzz out. You don't wanna be right on top of the fret either. You wanna be just right behind. Let's practice fretting the A, B, and C notes on the A string. Let's also say the note names out loud to help you remember them. So we're gonna play each note four times as quarter notes, and we're gonna do all that twice. I'll count you in. One, two, three, four. A. B. C. One more time. index and middle finger pattern. Also, as a note, make sure that you place your thumb on a couple different spots. Go ahead and try a few things, see what works for you. So you, you can either place it on a lower string, on a pickup, or even on the body of their instrument. Go ahead and try a few different things, see what works for you. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the rhythm hand. I'm gonna play that exercise again, and we're gonna go through it twice. I'll count you in. One, two, three, four. One, so that's A. Practice the notes on the A string to continue building your finger strength and your note vocabulary. Remember to say the notes when you play it to memorize the note placement on the fretboard. So keep practicing, and we'll see you next time.
Practice your finger technique while learning some of the natural notes on the A string. By the end of this lesson, you'll understand how to practice playing A, B, and C, practice plucking quarter notes, practice plucking whole notes. In this exercise, we'll work on our note vocabulary and familiarity with the fretboard by playing some notes on the A string. The entire exercise consists of just quarter notes. So we're gonna be playing as quarter notes on the open A string, one quarter note on C, and one quarter note on B. So the entire thing is a two bar phrase, and we're gonna repeat that eight times. I'll count you in. One, two, ready, go. A. Keep practicing those notes on the A string, and we'll see you next time. Combine the notes you learn on the G, D, and A strains and open up the fretboard. By the end of the session, you'll learn or you will understand how to practice switching between G, D, and A strains, practice plucking A notes, practice plucking half notes. In this lesson, we will work on combining notes on the G, D, and A strings. This will help you memorize note names and locations on the fretboard and will help build strength and coordination with string crossing. Let's put the notes on the G, D, and A strings together. Here's what the exercise sounds like. Now the rhythm consists of four eighth notes followed by a half note, and the rhythm will stay consistent across the strings. In the fret hand, we're going to start off with the open G, then first finger on the second fret of the G string, and then fourth fret, fourth finger of the G string. And then we're going to move back down to the first finger. And then finish off with the open G. And then we're going to move over to the D string, open D. First finger on the second fret. Second finger on the third fret. And back down. First finger. And then open. And then when we move to the A string, it's going to be the same thing. Open A. First finger on the second fret. Second finger on the third fret. And then moving back down. First finger. Now in the rhythm hand, we're going to use an alternating index and middle finger pattern, but if you're feeling comfortable, go ahead and try incorporating a rake technique when you move from a higher string to a lower string. Let's try playing through everything four times. I'll count us in. One, two, three, four. 
Playing on multiple strings can be challenging at first, so keep practicing and you'll get the hang of it. See you next time. Yeah, I want to do that again. I screwed up in the first section. In this lesson, we will work on combining notes on the G, D, and A strings. The technique when you move from a higher string to a lower string. Let's try playing through everything four times. I'll count us in. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. strings can be challenging at first, so keep practicing and you'll get the hang of it. See you next time. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, something happened. Wasn't quite ready for that. I think I clicked go to next lesson by accident. I believe that's it.